Alright, so we're back. Week 9, or actually chapter 9, uh, case 2. And first thing we're going to do, as always, change the name of the company. Man, if we could make this do it itself, we'd be in great shape. Case 2, student name, and save. Alright, now we're done. Time to submit. Just kidding. Um, student number one says, open and review your previously customized report name, trial balance. Record their appropriate adjusting journal entries on 131.19 based on the following. So we're going to go to reports, trial balance case two, and inventory supplies reveals that only 200 of supplies remain. Supplies case two is 450, so it means 250 were consumed. So if 250 supplies, 250 dollars of supplies was consumed, I'm going to go to my journal entry, and I'm going to look for supplies for supplies expense. It's going to be under expenses. Here's expenses, supplies. 250 debit and the account we're going to credit is going to be supplies asset case two $250 we got to change the date because I forgot to do that earlier the date is going to be 131 of 19 131.19 and I can save a new all right so D says, $1,800 for prepaid expenses expired, representing prepaid insurance in the month of January. So we're going to have insurance expense for $1,800. So accounts, go down to our expenses, insurance expense, $1,800. Prepaid expense is going to be what's credited. Gotta find it. It's hiding. Payroll. I don't see prepaid. It's an asset. Prepaid, prepaid, prepaid expenses right there. $1,800. All right, got the right date. Save a new. All right, number C says, a bill for $750 was received and recorded in the next month for legal fees performed in the current month. Create a new liability account as you did earlier in the chapter. So we're not going to create a liability for, for case three. I'm just going to throw them all in one liability account um, because it's just going to be painful to try to create another one account for each one of those three. Um, you can do what you want to. At the end of the day, as long as all three add up, that's all that matters to me. Um, so my first thing I'm going to do is legal fees. So that's going to be my expense. I'm going down here to expenses, legal and professional fees, 750, and this is going to be accumulated liability. Accumulated liability. So it's going to be other current liabilities down here at the bottom. Mm -mm -mm. Accrued liabilities, $750. Save and new. All right. D says, custom painting services recorded an invoice one, invoice number 1003 for $4,500 to Hagen's Toys were never performed even though they were invoiced. Thus, the revenue had not been earned. Create a new liability account as you did earlier. So with unearned revenue, we need to, to I'm gonna look at this to make sure I didn't tell you wrong. Unearned revenue, unearned revenue, unearned revenue, yep. I'm gonna debit revenue. Let's make sure it's expense, I mean a, a, a service, yep. It was a service, so I'm going to go down here to services under income accounts. 
sales service in the amount of $4,500. And unearned revenue is the next one. Unearned revenue. Should be a liability. Other current liabilities. Unearned income. Unearned income. There we go. $4,500. I'll make sure there's not an unearned revenue there somewhere. Maybe I did it as unearned income. I probably did. Unearned income. Save anew. $4,500. All right, so the next one's E, repair services of $6,298 were performed on the last day of the month for a new customer. But the invoice to the customer will be recorded into the accounting records until a few days into the next month. Create a new asset account as you did earlier. So it is going to be a debit to accrued receivables and a credit to repair services. And that would just be services. Mm -mm -mm. Date's right. First one here is accrued receivables. Accrued receivables in the amount of 6298. 6298. And then services is going to be the income account. Six two nine eight. Now, like I said, the it, the book tells you to create a new one, like you did earlier in the chapter, for these accounts, these accrued receivables and stuff like that. But uh, this is the only time that we're going to be using the accrued receivables and stuff, so I don't really see a need to do it. Um, you can go back through and make new accounts. That's where most people make make mistakes is creating new accounts. Uh, but it's completely up to you. I, I wouldn't mess with it. It wants you to know that you know what, what kind of account to put it in and how to do it. Not necessarily that you know how to make new accounts because we've made new accounts from the very beginning. Number F finally says depreciation expense of $1,000 for furniture and machinery and equipment, respectively. Recorded for the month. You know, let's just change those titles again. All right, so we already got the title change for depreciation expense. We just need to change the title for depreciation. I'm going to go ahead and do the transaction, then I'll change the titles. So for this first one, we're going to do depreciation expense. We already have that one down. Depreciation expense should be right here, depreciation expense in the amount of $1,000. The next one is going to be furniture and fixtures. No, furniture and machinery and equipment. So we're going to look for case two furniture. Furniture, case two. Depreciation is what we're going to do. And it's not a whole thousand. This first one is 375. And then the second one is machinery equipment case two, depreciation, 625. Yep. And then so we're good. We got the date in there. We got depreciation expense. These two, the second and the third transaction here is where they want us to change depreciation to accumulated depreciation. So we'll go and do that after we get this saved. So we're going to save this. Um, and we're going to three where it says print off the reports that we need to print off. So I'm going to go in, close that out, go into my chart of accounts, my case two, and there's that depreciation. I mean, it already says it on the detail type. We'll just change it here. A C C U M U L A T E D accumulated depreciation. Save and close. Machinery and equipment, case two. 
edit and accumulated a c c u m u l a t e d accumulated depreciation save close all right so now we got that done time to do our reports reporting come on computer you got this Workers, dashboard, does anything work on here? There we go. Reports, trial balance case two, export, oh, I gotta change this to case two. Almost forgot. Case two, export to PDF, save PDF, Close, back to report list, transaction detail by account for case two, change the file name, to case two, export, export to PDF, save as PDF. All right, so this is what the transaction detail by account looks like. Page one, page two and three. Make sure to pause the video if you wanna take a better look. And page four. To the trial balance, see the middle of that. Page one and two. Now notice on here we only have one accrued liabilities. If you um, if you created a, or actually accrued receivables also if you did these individually you would have two accounts one would say case one one would say case two and you have two different balances over here I put them in one because it's the only time we're going to use it we're not going to use that account for anything else um, and this is page two so 209 9 17 22 should be your numbers should be pretty close to this um, if they're off I mean by a couple hundred dollars I'm not going to do anything um, I'll let you know that they're off a couple hundred dollars, but it could be taxes. It could be just small things um, that's added up over time. Um, but that's it. That is the end of case two. A nice and quick, easy one. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, shoot me an email or text message.